Rob, thank you. Some developing news. The U.S. Justice Department's Civil Rights Division is now investigating the Al Cannon Detention Center in North Charleston. They are. News 2's Raymond Owens joins us live in studio. And Raymond, you have been following this story closely. I sure have, Brendan. The Justice Department officials, they held a press conference today via Zoom from Washington, D.C., and they spelled out a number of reasons they decided to open investigations into the Al Cannon Detention Center here in Charleston, as well as the Alvin S. Glenn Detention Center in Columbia. The U.S. Department of Justice is launching civil investigations into two detention centers in South Carolina, the Sheriff Al Cannon Detention Center in Charleston, South Carolina, and the Alvin S. Glenn Detention Center in Columbia, South Carolina. They will be investigating how inmates are treated and held. Our investigation of the Sheriff Al Cannon Detention Center will focus on access to medical and mental health care, the use of solitary confinement, and the use of force by staff. They will also look at whether people with psychiatric disabilities may be discriminated against at the facility. In January of 2021, Jamal Sutherland died after detention center staff tased and pepper sprayed him multiple times when he refused to leave his cell for a bond hearing. In December of 2022, D'Angelo Brown, an individual with serious mental illness, died after spending months in isolation in the detention center's mental health unit. The county coroner has attributed Mr. Brown's death to gross medical neglect and ruled his death a homicide. Overall, there have been eight deaths at the Sheriff Al Cannon Detention Center since 2022. Charleston County Sheriff Kristen Graziano released a statement about the investigations, quote, I stand by the statement that I made back in March 2023, and I will say it again. The allegation that we have been anything but transparent is categorically false. Councilman Pryor and all members of council were invited to review thorough documentation of our concerns that we made to the county contracts office over the past year. They did not take us up on our offer. I welcome the announcement of the DOJ investigation. Any member of the public, including those same elected officials who called for the investigation, is always welcome to ask questions and to come see the great work we are doing at the Charleston County Detention Center. Now, I also asked Justice Department officials if they have a time frame for these investigations and will they publicize any violations they might, might learn uh, during the investigation. They told me they're planning to work as quickly as they possibly can, but they don't have a specific time frame. And they say once the investigations are complete, they do plan to release a statement about what they did or did not find during the investigation. Now, the Department of Justice also needs your help. Uh, they're asking for any information you might have on issues there at the jail, and they would ask you to contact them. We have their information at CountOn2.com. Live in the studio, I'm Raymond Owens, CountOn2.